So I heard a lot of you, or some of you, are going to be participating in a project called the Alzheimer's Poetry Project. Is that yeah. it? Okay. So I'm, I'm going to do a, a, a poem about my experience with it, which was um, uh, probably one of the best things I ever did in my life. So. It starts with stage one, leaving the stove on. Strange things in the ice box. And then we can't remember how to get back home. On Tuesdays, I read classic poetry to patients with Alzheimer's disease. The project was started by a guy named Gary Glasner in order to celebrate the lives of people. I've seen people remember words and lines they learned as a child. Marty, one of our regulars, is held together by a flannel shirt and suspenders. What? Do I know you? <laughs> I forgot to mention I've been coming here every week for over a year. Do I owe you money? <laughs> I grab his hand and we glide across the tile like a finger tracing small print. Eye contact's important. I'm not afraid to touch my audience as I reintroduce myself. Stage two. If you know this poem, say it with me. I shot an arrow into the air. It fell to earth. <laughs> Some of these people can't remember the names of the kids that dropped them off here, but they can remember a poem by Longfellow from beginning to end. Sometimes they get asked questions like, Who wrote that poem? What's your name? When can I go home? And I tell them as much as I can. Now look guys, sometimes I get asked to dance. My beatbox ain't no Gene Krupa, and this ain't no ice cream social, so we get down. <laughs> tiger, tiger, burning bright in the forest of the night. What immortal hand or eye could frame thy fearful symmetry? <laughs> and even though they don't remember the words of the poem sometimes, at least they get smiles and remind me why I'm here in the first place. Stage three. I've seen miracles come in the form of Ben Johnson, Christopher Marlowe, and Edgar Allan Poe. And I wonder what other memories sleep inside her skulls. If I forget my wife's name, will I still remember the poems I learned as a child? Tonight my voice will follow wheelchairs and oxygen tanks like shadows. Stage four, after reading On His Blindness by John Milton, Marty stands up and says he doesn't want to wait anymore. And he can't remember the code of the security door and the grass painted on the walls of this retirement home doesn't grow, doesn't change. Change and doesn't support life. And Marty whispers to me, please, don't forget me. And I can't muster enough courage to look him in the eye. Look guys, poets aren't caregivers, grim reapers, saints, or doctors. I've seen nurses have to lift spirits just as often they've had to roll out bodies. And although poetry will never cure this disease, we have learned that poetry is the ignition on a John Deere tractor. The smell of pumpkin pie, remembering what eye contact from a stranger. Look guys, poetry lives within us, but we are caged memory. Mm.